guys and welcome back. This is episode 48, I think, of Curious Stitch Podcast. My name's Ellie and I'm coming to you from Exeter, which is in the southwest of England. Um, okay, so I'm trying to record on my DSLR and I've not recorded on this before, um, purely because I didn't have a big enough memory card for it to work. So, I have no choice but to look straight down the lens, which is really weird. Um, I'm using different software on my laptop and it uses a different video file for the editing, so yes. Now, and usually I have my phone on my lap today, purely as a timer. <laughs> so, I have got a few things to talk about this week. Um, I've got finished object and then I've got a half finished object and a few works in progress. So, finished ho object number one is this beautiful hat. Now, this is one of my designs, it is the Moonology. And this is coming out on the 1st of December on Ravelry and CuriousStitches.com. Um, my test knitters are absolutely wonderful. Um, I will link down below to their Instagrams and Ravelry if you want to go and have a look at their projects. Um, if you don't follow me on, on social medias, I am at curio underscore stitches. So you can go and have a look there as well. So this uses double knit weight yarn. So the black is just some cheap acrylic that I got in the range, and it's Devante. Devante. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but it's just black acrylic DK weight yarn, um, and then the contrast colour is actually this gold. It's fingering weight yarn held double. Now this one is merino silk blend, and it's from Five Moons, and it's um, leaf mould colour. Now, I've had this in my stash for a long time waiting for the perfect project. I say a long time. Nine years? <laughs> so yes. Um, yes there are going to be matching mitts for this one um, because it's slightly simpler than the socks. So yes. But those won't be until January. So I'm keeping it on because it's so cosy. Mm -hmm. I put it on as soon as I finished it and I've barely taken it off since. I love it. So, moving on. My hoe. I have been test knitting the Golden Wreath socks for Shy of the Witch Knits podcast. Link down there. And this is what I've got. So, it's top down and it's got this beautiful colour work band across here and then it's got a, a heel flap and gusset and I absolutely love this heel because it's not it, it's done on the bottom so it's absolutely stunning um, I will insert a couple of photos that I took here and yeah and then you go down the toe and you you kitchener this was a very quick knit and I can't wait for Shy to get this out and test knitted and then published because it's amazing. So yes, Golden Reef Socks by Shy. Mm, love them. So sparkly. Um, yarns, I used some of my stash of my hand dyed yarns. Um, so this colour, the main colour is Nimue, and then these two aren't my yarns. This one, I think is No Makers, I might be wrong. And this one is a unicorn tail. I still can't remember who it's, who it, if it's by. But yeah, I think pretty. So yeah. I have started the second one, but I've literally done three rounds past the craft on. 
Um, I used a Norwegian stretchy cast on for mine, um, just to give it that extra stretch. Um, I think the pattern calls for German cast on. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. But yeah, Ooh, love them. Okay, so moving on. I have been working on the Katie pullover by Karen Burrell. And if I turn to the right page, I'll see. It's this one. But I'll try and put a photo in here. So I have finished the body. Da, da, da. See? Isn't this lovely? And I absolutely love this gradient, gradient pixel blend that goes down to the bottom. Now, I did my rib edge slightly longer than the pattern called for, only maybe a centimetre, um, because I didn't want to do the, the dip shaping. Um, it's only a few short rows, but I thought, no, nice and straight. So all I've got left to do is the sleeves, which are all in the main colour, and then pick up and knit the neckband. So these colours are both acrylic um, because it's for my daughter and I want to be able to put it in the machine as and when necessary. Um, I have three teenage daughters but this one's for my youngest teenage daughter. And so the colours are, I think it's burgundy and it's knitting central tea cake. And then the black sparkly one is just called black. Um, and I have this much left of one ball. I wound it into a little ball. Um, now the sleeves are plain, but I'm tempted to try and match this a little bit. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to decide when I'm sort of I don't know, a couple of inches away from the end of each sleeve and think about it then. So yeah, that is my Katie pullover. Now I knit that on the needles it said in the pattern and I managed to get gauge and it's wonderful. So I will grab my next project. So I have my next project. I'm just going to pop my phone over there. So the next one's living in the Star Trek bag. And these are Abby's socks I'm doing her for Christmas. Now I've not done a lot. I've done some. So I've probably done since there, since the last time I recorded. Um, that sheepy stitch mark is just so I know when my toe decreases or increases finish. Um, so yeah, there's not much to show, but I have the album. <laughs> um, I use Carbon's two and a half millimetre for socks, primarily. I do use other ones. Um, I'm trying to find sock needles, DPNs, um, that I like as much as these because I'm trying to get away from using carbons because they're just wearing out and the price tag isn't worth replacing them all the time. Um, so if you know of any good ones that have the same grip but slip type usability, let me know. So the yarn on these is Alsterman Step and the colour is 0329. It's a 100 gram ball so there will be enough here for me to make some little matchy matchy ones for our niece or one of them. So yeah, I like these and I hope Abby's going to like them as well. Not really much else to say about that. They are just simple toe-up vanilla socks um, following uh, the free pattern that I put out on Ravelry and on my website for vanilla socks. Um, on Ravelry, my design is Elspeth Willis, because that's my actual name. So 
go and have a look. Okay, so next project is my Moonlit Rump by Vanessa Ewing. And as I said, I wanted to get the um, body finished. So here it is. So last time you saw it, it was a, just before this colour works, about here. So I've done the colour work at the bottom and then the hem. And it's twisted rib and it's ever so lovely. Um, but for some reason it took me ages to do this rib. A good few days. Um, not constantly, but you know, backs and forwards on it. So isn't this lovely? So the blue yarn, the, this lovely navy, is Ice Yarns. And it's pure alpaca fine, which is 23% alpaca, 50% merino, and 25% acrylic. Now it's meant to be a sport weight, but it doesn't knit to a sport or a GK weight, so I held it double because it needs to a fingering weight. And then this contrast, this lovely colour, this golden colour, is again some of my old hand dyed yarns, and it's the Druid on sport, but I managed to make it work to gauge with this other yarn. So look, isn't it lovely? I can't wait to get this finished. So I've just got the sleeves on this one. So I need to line up where the, the colour work joins um, because you've got to do this bit on the sleeves here um, when you join them. So I'm looking forward to that. So hopefully this will be finished by the end of the month. But we shall see. Okay, so I have two more projects to talk about. Um, so I have been, as you know, I'm a pattern designer now only, I don't die young. And I have got another two patterns that are currently with testers. This one has been completed. But I have two more. Um, and they are the El Has socks and the El Has mittens. So the they both use finger weight yarn and they look like this. And they're pretty. So I have started, because I knit these years ago and I never published them. I thought, no, I need to re knit them and, you know, get them out with testers and things before I actually publish them. So I'm using some of my hand dyed yarn in the adrenaline colourway. And I'm knitting this on sock needles, DPNs of 2.5 millimeter, and it's got cables and beads. So I don't know if you can see there's beads on these cables. So the beads I'm using are from the beads select the bead selection, and they're just size eight or three millimeter seed beads. Um, and they add a really nice sort of touch of sparkle. Now you don't have to use beads on this pattern. I've written it so that you can follow the chart for the cables. Um, and then the ones that have beads on, you still need to do the cables, but the ones that have beads on are a different colour so that you know where to place them or not place them sort of thing. Okay, so the mitts are coming out on the 30th of December and the socks are coming out on the 24th of December. So the socks, which are coming out first, are just here. Um, and like I said, I knit these years ago and I'm just redoing them. Um, so with these ones, I'm knitting them on Chowgu, Chowgu DPNs. And the beads I'm using on the socks are Mayuki seed beads. Um, again, the 3mm and these are Lilac Salon. And the yarn I'm using is from Sarah's Texture Crafts, when she used to hand dye yarns. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I will find the ball band and show you all. Uh, maybe next time. So, you can do these with the cables on the foot or without. For this sample, I'm doing them without. Um, my test knit is doing it with. Um, and 
again the first round after the foot was finished I don't put beads because of the shoe and things like that but then from now on up I have seed beads and it's really pretty so these are the El House socks so these ones will be out on Christmas Eve so that if anyone wants to cast on you know their Christmas Eve socks these be nice um yeah now one thing that i do want to say is for placing beads you can use 0.75 millimeter crochet hook for seed beads on fingering weight yarn um but i also have these now these are a legal beader and i got this on etsy 10 years ago maybe 11 years ago and it's simply a piece of wire and at the very tip it's got a, a notch taken out and then it's got one of these keepers that just sits on the top and stops the bees falling off but that notch means that you can put all your seeds on your seed beads on here do your stitch and then hook, hook it through slide the bead on and then put it back onto the needle without losing the yarn well yeah so that's all my actual knitting projects that I have to show you this week um, I know I said that I'd be showing you more of my other projects, but I haven't worked on them, so I'm not going to show you. So, the last thing I'm going to talk to you about today is I have some stash enhancement. So, I went to our local, Abby and I, my partner and I, went to our local yarn shop and I picked up a skein of this. I absolutely love it. Now, this green very similar to the colour that my eyes are because I have hazel eyes and there's sort of a gold and brown and green and I love this. So this is West Yorkshire Spinners Fleece and it's 100% British wool and it's Blue Face Leicester in DK and this one is called Fernside which is colour 1038. So I've got this because I need a beautiful contrast colour for another colourwork yoke jumper I have that I've designed that will be going to test knitters in about two weeks. So if you want in on test knitting a colourful yoke jumper, come and find me on Instagram. And then for the first time ever, I have bought myself a skein of sparkly Christmassy signature yarn. So I want to do the Christmas Eve cast on this year as well. Um, and I chose this one because it's absolutely beautiful. So this is Vintage Tinsel. I love Vintage Tinsel. I miss glass tree ornaments and, you know, the fairy lights that we had on our tree growing up were the sort of the glass flowers and they were green and blue and red and gold and they were so beautiful and this instantly made me think of that. So I'm tempted to try and put in a sort of a gold heel and toe maybe or or silver so they're properly festive socks and then because it's signature and it's their Christmas ones it comes with a pattern so I'm going to do this pattern um, it's called Twinkle Toes hand knit socks designed by Winwick Mum yeah. mm -hmm. so that's my Christmas Eve plans Sorry if you can hear my tummy, that'll be my tea going in. So, yes. And then my final purchase, because I have lots of hats that I'm working on and need to be cast on, I needed a replacement 3.5mm needle. Just for hats. Because <laughs> I like 3.5mm and 4mm for the chunky in it. So, yes. So, yes, yeah, these. That is all my creative knitting this week. I haven't done any crochet. Um, I've done some painting, but all the painting I'm doing between now and Christmas is gifts, so I don't want to show it on the podcast. But I will show, I'll take photos and show it after Christmas when I know the people that they're for. I've got them. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, thank you all for being here. Um, I am finding it 
quite peculiar just talking at a light. Um, Joey's in the background, aren't you, Joe? Is that my little corn sofa? You say hello? No? Good boy. Mm -hmm. So, yes, that is it for today. I'll love you and leave you. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.